Hello and welcome to another CAD clip talking about AutoCAD 2007 3D topics and uh, I would say the prerequisite for this class or accompanying lesson um, would be the fly through lesson so flying and walking off of our dashboard here very much the same I'm finding that with walk I am um, winding down dialing down the um, the step size okay um, and with the um, fly I'm bumping it up so so I'm finding that my walking step size is about half of what my flying step size so you have to kind of change this in between because this applies to both your flying and your walking stepping also notice that the settings um, displaying the of the of the uh, locating window there's a bit of a help uh, that comes up the first time you start walk and fly and it tells you that you have to be in perspective mode one and it also gives you some tips on using your arrow keys and stuff so when you do the walk and fly you're using your mouse with your regular um, left mouse button and you're also using your arrow keys and then um, there's a di new dialogue that comes in and you can control whether you want to see that help menu or not so I'm gonna start by going over just to a 3d view I'm gonna go to my conceptual view and I'm gonna flip over and go to perspective off of here and what I'm gonna do the same as with my flying I'm gonna position myself where I want to start the walk from and once you position that the difference between walk and fly is with fly you can swoop down and swoop back up so you can change your vertical elevation as you travel with walk you are tied to the to that Z um, elevation so in order to do a walk properly I'm gonna zoom down and get myself at about eye level or something pretty close like that and get myself in position here and now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna check my settings okay and then I'm gonna start my um, my walk and then of course we're gonna get our dialog box that comes in here we can grab this and move this around if we want um, and the thing is we're gonna watch this the only thing I'm finding tricky with walking and flying is to do a 180 if you want to turn completely around it's hard to do it while you're moving you almost have to stop and turn and then start moving again so maybe I'm missing something or I can find a workaround but so inside of here now what I'm gonna do is use my arrow keys Okay, and as I hold my arrow keys I, and I move my mouse by clicking my index finger, I can kind of walk in a little bit. So I can just walking in, doing my walk, my, my walking along, and I'm going to just kind of skim through here. Okay, I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to close this off temporarily, okay, and push this off to the side maybe. Resuming, I'm going to hold in my arrow key and then I'm going to do this, okay. And then I can slow it down. You can see what's happening with the transparency. So I might want to move over here a little bit, move forward. Okay. Once I get far enough, I might say, okay, I want to start, you know, working my way around the corner. So I'm, I'm holding my mouse button in. All I need now is a shotgun or a missile launcher here. And then uh, so I can move forward again. Now this is where I want to do a sharp turn to the left. And the best way to do that is to stop moving and just use your regular mouse button and click and drag and let go just like as if you're panning okay and you can also zoom in and zoom out with your wheel button so I'm gonna kinda pan around pan around okay because to do this corner while you're moving is too kind of tricky okay and, and although I'm able to look up or down visibly I'm still gonna keep the same Z regardless okay because I'm in the walk mode so I can work my way around here and you'll get better at doing this and then I can start to you know use my arrow key again and maybe I even want to decrease my step size okay now is the time I might want to go back in here and look at where I'm at okay because you can see that so so you might want to take your auto hide off in here oops wrong one and again using that now you can see I'm at the end of the end of town here so now what I want to do is pan with just my regular mouse button. Oh, wrong way. Notice what's going on over here. Okay, panning around till I start to see down Main Street again, and I can mouse. I'm just using my regular mouse button here. Okay, just a, an index finger kind of 
left mouse click. I'm watching over here and then I get down to here and then I can start using my arrow key again. Okay, and maybe I'm going to move over here and now I'm using both my mouse button and my arrow key and I'm working my way down through there. So there's, and then again, you can stop and you can wheel and you can pan as you go and you can wheel out. Okay, but I'm not going to be able to go up in the air because I'm in. Notice what happens as you go through objects, which is quite nice. They turn transparent. Okay, there's some settings for that as well. Okay, moving my mouse over here as I please, maybe backing up. Okay, so walking around very much like flying, use your arrow key, keep an eye on the, the bird's eye view over here, and then you can just kind of walk through see where you're at and then maybe turn this corner oh cut the corner of that off work my way around okay with I think if the step size is small enough you can actually uh, maneuver quite well you can see that this is I'm not doing too bad here and now I need to turn all the way around so here I go very quickly turning myself around looking back downtown and off I go walking through the street again so Flying, and then what happens, of course, is while all this is going on, we're going to see in our next lesson, okay, over here on our dashboard, uh, tools, palettes, dashboard, is while we're in this mode and moving around, we're going to start to see that these record buttons and stuff are going to be available. We'll talk about that recording animation in a future lesson. So have some fun with your walk and your fly, and... Um, that's about it.